again, I have to go back to how I felt when Aaron and I first dated because I really had it in my mind that there is a certain sect or group of people that I will not be around and that I will mm. voluntarily refuse, mm -hmm. right? Because they did me wrong. Yeah. Wow. But bro, when I tell you, mm -mm -mm, how God uses the most unseeming of people. <laughs> Man, dog, I was like, bro. It, I don't know about y'all, but, you know, the connection that we have with people today, you know, I, I feel it in a very different way. Mm. Whether it be a hug, handshake, or just even a simple eye contact, I, you know what I'm saying? Because like you, you have empathy. Exactly. It's the part about being empathetic that mm -hmm. you can actually feel yeah. stuff. Yeah, yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like, you can, under, you can feel when a person is having a bad day. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's written. It's written, it's written somewhere on their body language. You can no, see no, it. straight up. Or even their voice. Straight yes. up. But it's even harder to have that empathy towards a party that you're automatically biased to, which is who? Uh, Your family. Yeah. Oh my so you God. give them grace, right? Yeah. Giving oh grace. grace. And that's Heavy. literally one of the things that, you know, you have to learn, especially when dealing mm -hmm. with people that you're naturally biased towards. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, because, like, for the longest time, you know, we could, we all know a friend or two that has a sibling and or another friend that does wrong. They are so submerged in a particular vice, almost to the point that they encourage it, mm. but they protect them. Right. But yeah. it's like, bro, you can't be doing that, yeah. right? Mm. But at the same time, you yourself, as an outsider looking in, you don't know. Yeah. That's why you got to give them grace. Right. In your example, in your example, yours too, Te them teaching you Tagalog, right? Or not wanting to, excuse me, and minds. Yeah. You know, it it's a it's a very difficult thing to conceptualize when you're a young person. Yeah. But then once you get older and you start realizing shit and you go through experiences in life, now. man. God yeah. bless our parents right. for coming to this country Bro, and amen. having children. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because sometimes I'm like, I ask my mom, I'm like, well, I don't know why y'all frustrated. Mm -hmm. Y'all came here. Yeah. Y'all came here, and it was a blessing. You have kids that actually have a mind of their own. Right. Yeah. Because I do understand, and that's where my grace is also given, is that, <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, even I told my mom, I was giving her the timeline kind of how when she came here mm -hmm. as a 17, 18 year old. I was like, well, mom, someone has always made your decisions. Mm -hmm. Your mom made the decision to send you here. Mm -hmm. Your dad said you must come here. You came here. You were. My mom was a journalist, a journalism major. Wow. She had a, a she, has a, she has a bachelor's in journalism. Mm -hmm. Never used it. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because that she thought about her culture. Mm -hmm. She yeah. thought about um, how is that going to even create a life for me? Mm -hmm. And I have an accent. Mm -hmm. She how, in her head. How she would, but yeah. you know what? When you don't have that that community, yeah. or when you don't have those that that family that's here to push you and encourage you yeah. in a space that they have never experienced or understood, right. you're only going to get discouraged. Right. Yeah. right. Like, I couldn't I couldn't even dream of that happening now. Like, I've, I told you, hey, I want to do this, but I'm discouraged. You're like, go, girl, go do, go do what you need to go do. Right. Like, yeah. we now live in a community celebrated. that you have people and pushing and celebrated. You have people pushing and shoving you to do something, and if they're not, you don't keep them around you. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and, and look at you. <laughs> This is an example of journalism. Yeah. Oh, God. Come on, dog. She passed it hey, down to you. Hey. Come on, dog. Won't God do it, bro? Yeah. Come on, now. Come on, I didn't even think now. about that. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Bro, I'm telling you. No, this, you know that's so You're living so your dream. Funny. You're living, wow. living your dream. Yeah. You know, I um, I did not think about it like that. Wow, that's 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 kind of deep. And that's kind of deep, man. Don't, don't be up in here trying to get me off. <laughs> don't be kind of up in here. Don't make the host cry now. Like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, right. honestly, guys, um, it's just so, I think it's, you know, our parents like when I think about it it took me a while to have grace for my parents actually yeah. I always mm -hmm. thought they were out to get me mm -hmm. yeah. I always thought they were mm -hmm. out to get me um and I mean I was 20 I was 21 I was 19 mm -hmm. you know I was really really young and everything I just felt like everything was like against me like I'm like do I have support you know I know that they love me, I think. I'm not sure how to discern if this is love mm -hmm. or if this is this. I'm not sure but like you know, it's like I tell people that don't have ethnic backgrounds or culturally back, um, driven backgrounds is that it really costs to go against the grain. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. It's a, it does. It's, 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 it does. It costs, and you will only know the profit when you keep going. Exactly. It's not for the weak. 
No, no, it's not. No, no, no. no. And, and even for myself, you know, I, you know, again, I keep bringing this up because it's very real for me. Like, I, I just still can't believe, and us sitting here just makes me remember how ugly of a mindset I, I really adopted at one point mm. in my life to think that I don't want to be around certain people because they wronged me. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, how many times did Jesus, did Jesus get wronged? Yeah. You know, how many times did people who made a huge impact on the world get denied, rejected, ostracized, you name it? How many times? Countless. Mm. But that one time that there was an opportunity for them to love or to demonstrate something, <sighs> that's the breakthrough moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the breakthrough moment. And, and again, like how you said, you don't really see the profit until you keep going. Mm-hmm. You know, like in the beginning when we were dating, bro, there, there was men and women alike who would come up to both of us and say nasty things about yeah. the other partner. Even about, even family members. Which, and even family. Oh, they're not exempt. Even, no. uh, even family members. Mm. Like, um, there was one time we were talking about with a family member, we were talking about like what the future would look like, a lot of interracial dating and things like that, mm-hmm. a lot of interracial kids. And they had said something along the lines of, I hope I'm not alive to see that. I'm like, Bro, oh, and okay. I ain't gonna front. When I, when I, okay. I was like, because that's, that's like, okay, so we know who we're not bringing our kid around. Uh, Why? Yeah, and I'm like, Hold on, but you love living in the world. Mm. Why are you saying that? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, partner, you tripping. Like, it, they don't want to talk about it. No, they don't. Mm-hmm. No, they don't they, but you know what the, the beauty of life is? You have that half, right? But then you also have the other half who is like, I can't wait to see what your kids look like. I can't see yeah. your final product. Yeah. This is going to be so beautiful. Yeah. Like, you got to live to those moments, right? Because right. there's always going to be some ugly in the world. Yes. There's always gonna be so much yeah. ugly. There has to but be. But it's changing slowly. Like, you know, like, your dad, my mom, it's slowly but surely, you, we're putting, we're a force to be reckoned with because we're putting this right in their front face mm-hmm. and say, so you're going to change whether you, you like it or not. It, right? yeah. You know? You you're going to change it. for the sake of love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. It, I mean, I, like, I, I say this too to some of my Nigerian friends is that your parents are not going to disown you. No, they, they never will. Girl, all is bull. I would have called BS. I, I really thought I was disowned. Like, mm. I really thought I was disowned. Nah, hearing your story made no, me feel I really, that way. Like, <laughs> I was no like, one I could, saw her mom man. at the wedding. No one, I saw her dad at the no wedding. No one could tell Ooh. me otherwise. Like, even, no one could convince me. Otherwise. Even Brian, to that point, like, he gave up hope. Like, I'm like, yeah. it's not happening. That's His not parents fun. were the only ones who didn't give up hope. Like, no, they're going to meet us. They're going to meet us. And I'm like, y'all think that. I'm going to let y'all think that. Look, but, mm-hmm. but that's the real thing because I have a very um, loving family friend of mine. Um, and we celebrated um, her and her husband. Mm-hmm. Her father didn't show up. They be so egotistical. It's different when your mom shows up versus your dad shows up because you're, you're a man ego. can hold a man can hold his ego. A man can really um, compartmentalize his heart in that right. moment, yeah. and he'll regret it wholeheartedly. Yeah. But when your mother does it, it's a different type of slap in the face because it's like mm-hmm. it was like, where was your heart in this? Because yeah. you're supposed to be like, like I, and I'm not even trying to play gender roles here, but it's it's very innate nature for a woman to feel differently for a child that they brought into this world. Right? Yeah, so it's kind of like if she hadn't showed up, we would have a very very like unforgiving. Like I, I, I'm not big on grudges at the state, but that's one thing I, I could not really forgive. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I think that's what a lot of people told her that. Like, you know, you're holding this little grudge, but you know, you're gonna forgive her in like two, three months, and you, then you're gonna look back like, hey, I didn't show up to your to my daughter's wedding. Then how are you gonna feel? Right, it's intentional. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It was like intentional. Yeah. No, for sure. For sure. It's intentional.